sexual orientation is about who you are attracted to and who you feel drawn to romantically, emotionally, emotionally and sexually. It differs than gender identity. Sexual orientation is about who you want to be with. Gender identity identity is about who you are sexual art attractions refer to a person physical and emotionally attraction to others which involve feel sensations within a person based on other person who is the focus of desire sexual behavior refer to physically intimate and sexual activity be between people Hi, my name is Cik Ros Nurmilana Ashikin and now I will talk about the types of sexual orientation. Sexual orientation also refers to whom you are attracted to and want to have relationships with. Sexual orientations are including gay, lesbian, straight, bisexual and asexual. There is a few main types of sexual orientation that has been going around among people around the world. First is heterosexuals. Heterosexual people have sexual or romantic feelings for people of the opposite sex. Heterosexual men have sexual or romantic feelings for women, while heterosexual women have sexual or romantic feelings for men. The prefix hetero is derived from the Greek word heteros, which means other of two people or another different second. And heterosexuals are sometimes referred as straight. Heterosexuality along with bisexuality and homosexuality is one of the three major categories of sexual orientation on heterosexual homosexual spectrum. Most people are heterosexual across cultures and heterosexual activity is far most common type of sexual activity. Next is homosexuality. Homosexual can be defined as attraction between people of the same sex. It is, it is derived from the Greek word homos, which means the same. It is a sexual orientation, not a gender identity like male, female or non-binary. People who are homosexual may identify as gay, lesbian, LGBTQ, queer or variety of other terms. The most common synonym is gay or lesbian. Gay usually refers to a man that being attracted to another man, whereas lesbian refers to women being attracted to another woman. Cure is a broad term that refers to someone who is not heterosexual, meaning they are more attracted to the opposite sex or cisgender, meaning they have a gender identity that corresponds with their assigned birth gender. LGBTQ is an acronym that stands for lesbian, gay, bisexual, transgender, queer and questioning. It usually refers to a group of people rather than a single individual. More, homosexuality along with bisexuality and heterosexuality is one of the three major categories of sexual orientation on the heterosexual and homosexual spectrum. Bisexuality is defined as the desire for more than one gender. Those who identify as bisexual have sexual or romantic feelings for people of a different gender in addition of their own. While this provides a broad overview, bisexual are a diverse group. Each person has a unique perspective on their sexual orientation. Some people are equally attracted to men and women, whereas others prefer one gender over the other. Furthermore, a bisexual person may be in a long-term same-sex or heterosexual relationship or al alternate between the two. Bisexuality is one of three major classifications of sexual orientation along with heterosexuality and homosexuality. Last is asexual. Asexual is another sexual orientation that was widely used by lots of people worldwide. The lack of sexual Attraction to others or lack of interest in sexual activity is referred as asexuality. Some people define asexuality as their sexual orientation, while others define it as the lack of sexual orientation. Asexual can also refer to a broad range of asexual sub identities such as demisexuality, grey A, queer platonicity, and many others. Asexual people can be cisgender, non binary, 
transgender and any any other gender that they want to be with. A sexual people are more likely to have romantic feelings but no sexual attraction to others. They can also identify themselves as hetero, homo, bi or pan romantic. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and good morning to our lecturer Dr. Munira. Okay, now I will present to you about the factor that can influence individual social or sexual orientation. So, the first point is genetic. Based on research that has been done in the past, individual sexual orientation can be influenced by the genetic, especially if they were monozygotic twins. Most of monozygotic twins, regardless of their gender, will have high probability to become homosexual such as gay or lesbian compared to dizygotic twin. In the early study of family, there is a report that say male has the higher probability to become homosexual compared to female, especially if the maternal cousin is related to homosexual, homosexual individual. This study is based on the chromosome XQ28, which is said to be related to male sexual orientation and can be used for the further analysis of male sexual orientation. However, it, after the study or the research, they find out that this theory cannot be linked to the male sexual orientation at the moment. But recently, a genome-wide screening has been done some research and come up with a suggestive support for the previous study. They are suggesting that the etiology of heterogeneity, which is related to the quality of individual that has different characteristics and value regarding the purpose of chromosome XQ28, locus male and male sexual orientation. Furthermore, chromosome X28, XQ28 region contains several genes and traits that may have potential and relevant information about sexual orientation, such as arginine vasopressin receptor, which is AVPR, which mediates social and affiliative behavior and psychic nucleotides red channel alpha 2, CNGA2, that is really important for the regulation of other evoked and also sexual, socio-sexual, especially toward the animals such as mice. Okay. okay, now let's go to the second point, which is hormone. People's characteristic and physical appearance are determined by their hormonal influence during early stage of development, especially during intrauterine stage. Some of the hormonal influence are reversible and some of the ir are irreversible. For the reversible, the reversible hormone, it usually will be activated during certain period of the development stage, which is critical for individual growth and development. This hormone is also called as activation hormone. On the other hand, there are some evidence that mention that irreversible hormone will influence the change in individual brain, where it can determine that individual action the individual sexual orientation in the future. As an example, male need high level of androgen and testosterone compared to female, where it can develop a male sexual characteristic. Androgen is produced by the testicle or for female, it will produce in the ovaries. Androgen can be functioned as a puberty hormone and also can be functioned as sex hormone. If male lack of androgen or can also called a androgen insensitivity, he will have low sex drive and will develop breasts where also known as gynecomastia. When this happens, the individual or male will have a tendency to have sexual attraction towards other male and he will start to act feminine. But on the other hand, if female has the higher level of androgen, he will act masculine and start to become physical appearance more like man or male and he will attract to other female. This there are experiments that has been done in the past by exposing the mice, the female mice to the high level of androgen during during the development early development stage and they try to expose the male mice with the low level of androgen. And the result is same as what I said before, which the male will act feminine and the female mice will act as a masculine. Okay, now let's go to the final point for my topic which is environment. 
how environment can influence or be affected that influence some people or individual sexual orientation. Okay, let me explain, okay? Sexual orientation of individuals are commonly said to be linked or related to their environment or lifestyle. But there is a study that proves that social environment and parents' sexual orientation will not give a huge influence or impact to what children's sex orientation when they are become an adult less on. The study shows that children, children who are raised by non-heterosexual, which is homosexual or bisexual parents, are normally identify themselves as heterosexual when they are adult. This is because social experiment will not affect social environment will not affect their interest toward other gender since it all are based on the individual internal factor such as genetic and hormone. But it can be denied that some individuals become homosexual and bisexual because of their lifestyle and also because of their sex life. Furthermore, when the individuals experience their first sexual interaction, there will be a possibility that he or she will stick to that sexual interaction either heterosexual or homosexual or bisexual. There are some allegations that heterosexual or straight individuals will, will be seen as by homosexual or bisexual individuals or will want to have sexual interaction with them, which can lead them into different lifestyle of sexual interaction. If this is not the case, they will be otherwise grow as heterosexual in the future. But, individuals that has abnormal sexual orientation when they are adult, they usually being sexually abused by their parents or their surrounding during their childhood. Experiencing sexual abuse during such an early age or early stage in their life will leave a mark in their self and it will make them unconsciously think that Abnormal sexual orientation is normal, such as homosexual or bisexual. Sexual abuse is a normal, normally caused by a bad or negative parent team from their parent, or also can be caused by their negative surrounding. Research does support the notion that lesbian, gay, bisexual, and transgender, which is LGBT individuals, are more likely to have display an abnormal gender preference when they are were younger. younger. And this distinction may well explain why such children were more frequently singled out for abuse, especially sexual abuse. But this, is top this topic or this research about the factor is so sensitive and hard to pull off because when we come to sexual orientation, some people don't say that they are gay or they are lesbian or they are transgender or they are bisexual. They just, most of them say that they are straight or heterosexual, but we don't know what's happening inside or their hormone, how their hormone works in, in their cell. So, that's all from me. Thank you. Sexual transmitted disease STD, also known as sexual transmitted infection, STI, are very common. Millions of new infections occur every year in, in the United States. STD pass from one person to other through with by channel, oral and anal sex. Next is increasement of suicide rates. The existence of society stigma of, of lesbians, gay, bisexuals and transgender LGBT are very negative. A study by Ahmed 2050 state that there are imbalance in their life of those involved with LGBT that lead to depression, disappear, and suicide behavior. Next is the effect of LGBT is a lack of human populations. This is because someone who is gay, who likes men, cannot have children. This is because only women have a uterus and can give a birth. The similarity of genitals cause them to be unable to have child. Pregnancy occur when a sperm cell from a man meet an egg cell from a woman. This process is no fertilization or conception. In conclusion, sexual orientation can be defined as the direction of sexual feelings or behaviors towards individuals of the opposite sex the same sex or the combination of both. 
there is a lot more of sexual orientation types that has been used worldwide. Although other sexual orientation in the world other than what were commonly used and that was allowed in religion beliefs and legal in the law, there is a lot of group of people that still want to define themselves as something that was against their own religion beliefs and law. This is because people who practicing LGBTQ in their life will experience lots of negative implications than positive implications such as the increasement in suicide case and the increasement in STD disease. However, there is a lot of country in the world that was fighting for LGBTQ people's right because they adhere to the principle of equal human rights such as France and Vietnam. It is true that falling in love is a human right but a human being must not cross the line by falling in love with same-sex people because everyone aware that that kind of love is wrong and outrageous as a human being and obviously against human nature. That's all from our group. Thank you.